Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. No intro on ye ol' screen of level selection. Oh, no, no, no! Oh man, I'm gonna lose that Louie because of him. I had no other choice. <laughs> I don't remember if those steam things hurt you if, or if they stun you. I'm not willing to- Wow, they shoot missiles! <laughs> or if they kill you, I'm not willing to try that out. Just saying and wow, that was terrible on my part because I went over one square and yeah. I mean, I was a little bit too far over to one side. Well, those missile shooting birds are really, really threatening and all these enemies are very fast in general. Oh my goodness. <laughs> This is a lot harder than I remember it to keep track of poop. <laughs> yes, you have to keep track of poop. It's very important. Um, oh, please kill them off. Okay, at least one is down. Ugh. Oh my goodness, so much pressure. Okay, it's actually not that much pressure. <laughs> Do those steam thrower things only shoot in the same direction every time? I don't know. You know what? I'm gonna I'm just gonna move on ahead because I got a Louie. This is one of the longest stages in the game. It, it, it's one stage, but it's you'll notice that the clock started me off with a lot of time. That's there for a reason. It's like instead of it being divided into um different uh, individual stages where you collect a piece of a spirit picture. It's divided into individual... Um, what am I trying to say here? <laughs> individual rooms, like it's one long level, basically. Um, those spinning gears there, I'm pretty sure they... Yeah, they do that. I just wanted to make sure that all enemies were out of my way when I tried that. They remind me a lot of... Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog's boosters, they, that they look similar to something like that. Alright, uh, I'm in pretty good position here. Because there isn't... Oh, I should also mention, these boxes right here, if you didn't notice, they act like another bomb when they're hit. So they're kind of like a, uh, um, a... A box full of dynamite or, or something like that, so to speak. I don't know how else to describe them. But they explode when you blast them as a soft block. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna leave you there, just because. <laughs> and, oh dear. I don't think those birds can actually blast crystals using their missiles. Although they can go inside the doors. <laughs> it's kinda weird. You know what? I'm just gonna move on. <laughs> Why bother with the enemies? I mean, I thought about blasting more blocks to, like, look for, um, items or lives or something like that, but I'm pretty well powered up as I am right now. And that's just... That's just asking me f to, you know, risk losing what I have right now. And I'd like to beat this game without getting a game over. Although I admit I did do a couple of takes on World 2, because I just couldn't get the commentary right, uh, I say the feel of it, the way that I wanted it to be. But that wasn't because I kept dying, it was just because of the commentary. In fact, I didn't die at all in my uh, um, other takes. It's just the, the thing of... I, I like my videos to have a certain feel to them, a certain flow, and if it, if it gets a little bit off feeling to me, then I end up doing a retake, and dang it! That was terrible on my end. I should have stayed around the corner, I was safe, but no, I got panicky. And I think those guys break boxes. Those boxing guys, if I'm not mistaken. And they take a lot of hits as well, by the way. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, they can break soft blocks, not bombs, just the, the boxes. I don't know if they're actively targeting me, though. I don't think they are. They're just kind of like minding their own business. Although I would like to take care of them just so they aren't in my way later. There we go. Uh, which way does this push me? That way, okay. It's, it's pretty hard to tell because of how fast they're spinning. I just wanted to make sure that I, you know, like I wouldn't get caught in a corner or something like that and I'd have to go through here. Just want to make sure my area was clear or something like that. And... Next one. Uh, wait, you don't 
do you robot guys go after me? It, it at times feels like you do, but at other times you don't seem to. <laughs> eh, kick power up would be very helpful. Although I need to get it unscathed. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. I'm begging you. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> I just got out of the way in time for that missile. I didn't know that was coming from off screen. That would have been tragic. <laughs> Gotta be careful of stuff like that, even though it's kind of hard to be careful of stuff like that. Uh, please die. Thank you. See, when you ask politely, they die. Oh, man. That one shot a missile just as I dropped the bomb and I almost died. Luckily, my blast radius wasn't as large, otherwise, I mean, it wasn't large enough to hit me, because I just got out of, out of the way of it in time. Mm. Eh. Please kill some of the hovercraft guys. I would very much appreciate it. Eh. Please? What are those things doing? <laughs> Turn in a different direction already. Preferably towards my bomb. Oh, come on! This is crazy. Fine, I'll take another rolt. I, I can't really get through there without risking, like, my positioning, so to speak. Oh, that he didn't get hurt on the soft block, unless it, what, you just moved on to the other square in time. Ah! Oh, no, no, no! Please don't. Yeah, okay. Uh, oh, that's gonna... Actually, that'll hurt the birdie over there. Because that's a double explosion there. Yep. And this will open the door. But is it safe to go to the door? Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> I'd still like to have another Louie before I get over to the big bad final boss, if at all possible. Oh, so much slowdown. And turn and try and break that block, if you would, please. That would be pretty nice. Hearts! Oh, I jumped for it automatically by instinct, and I ended up dying because I moved too quickly. <sighs> what a way to die. What a way to die. So sad, but I know there's a heart on this floor, so it might be in my best interest to get it. Like, to blast all the blocks I can. Especially since the uh, clock reset as well. <laughs> so I have... Uh, extra time to do whatever I want rather than racing to the finish line worrying about that uh, 959 time limit 959 sure seems like a lot except for the fact that the stage is really really long as I said earlier in the video uh, I don't know which directions these things push me uh, like that huh what about this one up okay and there's the heart that I was seeking. Delightful! <laughs> nice to get it early in the level there. So much slowdown! Why? Are these enemies that complicated or something, like, in, in terms of movement? Because I know when there's, like, an enemy that uses a lot of, like, individual sprites or movement or something like that, what'll happen is that it'll... Uh, it'll slow down the game at times, sort of like the fire guys in the, in the last part, the ones that shot fire on the ice level. Don't hit, don't hurt me, please, hovercraft, okay. <laughs> and don't turn this way either. Oh, I don't, I don't want you to turn into my territory without me killing you first, because if I'm trapped between a couple of critters, that would be kind of devastating. Yeah, just saying. <laughs> Hopefully I can get a bunch of them. Uh, mm, I guess that worked out okay. I'm gonna keep you on that side if at all possible. Or kill you, that's even better. <laughs> mm. I don't know how I want to go about doing this. <laughs> I guess suppose that works as, as a start. And there's the follow-up. Don't go this way. Thank you. I can go straight to the door and get out of here with my heart intact. And wow, this really is a long level. I don't know how many subsections are in this one, but... 
Just as long as I get to them without a game over, because that would really, really suck to have, you know, to lose my items and stuff like that and have to try powering myself up on these rather hard stages. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm trying to guard myself with bombs and circles. <laughs> oh, that worked out nicely. And these guys are a lot faster than they, um, they appear to be when they're, you know, when they're slow down. They don't seem all that fast. But when it's in normal speed, these guys are pretty swift. Eh. Please stop turning corners and just dying via my bomb blasts. Uh, I guess you can, you know, destroy these blocks if you want to. <gasps> I want that. I want that more than anything. <laughs> Blue one! This is a new one! It can kick bombs. And I'll demonstrate that now. I just wanted to make sure I was safe so I could demonstrate it. <laughs> You can use that to either get yourself out of sticky situations, or just kick bombs at the enemies in general. You know, like to trap them or something like that. Like, if I were to do something like this... How do you like that? <laughs> kind of cheap when you can do stuff like that, but at the same time, ooh, I would take advantage of it if you can. Needless to say, this is the big door. I think there's going to be a boss behind it. Just because it's a big door. Big doors tend to hide bosses. Or house bosses, I should say. I've learned that from Zelda. <laughs> so, it's in my best interest to get as much stuff as I possibly can before I go on, if at all possible. And I still don't know if that steam hurts me, but I'm not gonna try it. <laughs> I think that's it. Okay, just wait for the steam one more time. Head to the door. I got two extra hits. A heart and a Louie. This boss is Bagula himself. In this first phase, you want to destroy those laser cannon thingies. It's best to blast them when they're spinning super fast like that, actually. Woo! <laughs> I forgot they shoot diagonally. I thought they only shoot horizontally. Diagonally. Oh, dang it. I took the hit right there. I mean, I took two hits really, really quickly there. Uh, it's down the one. Mm. I'm pretty sure those laser cannons also hurt you as well. All right, phase one's done. There's two more phases, actually. I don't have much confidence in myself, especially since I lost two hits right off the bat there. Definitely the hardest boss in the game right here. Well, I don't mean the dragon, I mean just the whole Bagula in general there. Mm. Oh! It looks like it's safest to be in front of him when he does that. Although that dragon, I'm pretty sure he shoots fire. Yeah, it's definitely safest to be in front of him. Except when that dragon shoots... Ah, uh, you gotta hit him in the head, okay. Oh jeez, please don't... I I'm begging you not to hurt me. <laughs> I'm safe here, sort of. Pop your head back out, thank you. Better my... Oh, uh, that's what you have to avoid by not being in front of him all the time. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to, like, find safe spots, if at all possible. That's gonna kill me, isn't it? Ah! Yeah, there's no real way to dodge that one. Unless I move to the left, but I, I, I mispredicted that one. Alright, here we are again. I hope if I die, I won't have to restart the whole freaking thing. <laughs> that would suck very, very much. <clears throat> yeah, if I die, where do I start from? I mean, if I game over. I don't want to find out, to be honest. <laughs> Alright. But he doesn't seem to move through bomb blasts, so I could probably use that to my... I mean, he doesn't seem to move through bombs. Bombs seem to stop him, so I could probably use that to my advantage! <laughs> I hate the diagonal ones! Uh, phase 1 went pretty quickly. I did better in Phase 2 than I did in Phase 1, actually. He's just so much more unpredictable in Phase 1 than he is in 2. Even though he's got two main attacks in uh, phase two. You know, the lasers and that dragon fire. 
All right. Let's do it. Wait, what? How did that not hit me? <laughs> I'm not quite. I'm not complaining though. I probably shouldn't question it though. <laughs> Definitely a good idea to be in front of him, just like to prepare and watch the dragon head for that. Ah! And he shot. I mean, he started shooting from the opposite side and. Alright, if I continue, where do I continue from? Please don't tell me it's from the very start of the stage. It's at the boss. Oh, come on! It really is from the start of the stage? <sighs> well, I game over it, so I suppose I can start using cuts now. Oh man, this is... this is pretty sucky right here. Well, here we are again. This time, I'm just gonna run to the door without worrying about the enemies. I just took a really quick run through these stages. It, it's really, really easy to power yourself up on those stages because of the fact that there's so many blocks to blast. I don't have a heart, though. I, I couldn't find it along the way. It wasn't in the same room as it was before. So, I, I just have a Louie this time, and, and it was indeed in the same room that it was before. <gasps> Oh, it's gone! No! 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 Oh, jeez. I don't like how he's got such a wide range. Hey, don't go right through him. Oh, whatever. <laughs> oh, and I also didn't die along the way here. I don't remember if I said that or not, but yeah, I didn't. <laughs> The stages aren't that all that hard if you play really strategically. It's just that I had a much easier time getting through the stages without, you know, commentating. Go figure. <laughs> Alright, here we are again. And not in a good way. <laughs> maybe, maybe I really shouldn't be, like, maybe I should be, like, how do I put it, going opposite corners as him? Just to make sure that I'm safe, if at all possible, from that dragon fire. Okay. <laughs> I don't like how his moves tend to, like, go together with each other so well. Because <laughs> it's like, you have to be in the front to dodge the laser blast successfully every time. But, you have to be off to the side to dodge the dragon fire. That's pretty sucky. <laughs> And I believe his head also hurts you, the dragon head thing, yeah. Just kill him off! Oh, did he dodge my blast? I think he dodged my blast. How dare you dodge my blast? <laughs> oh dear. Oh, please don't hurt me. I just want to kill you. Is that so much? Is that too much to ask? Uh, please. Oh, it doesn't reach me in the corner, okay. I think he only shoots fire from three separate areas. It's like one uh, at the left and right side and one right in the center. That's that's just what it feels like to me. I haven't really seen him do it in any other positions. Oh, jeez. Woo! And third phase. This is the most funky of the, of the phases. It's also probably the most interesting. <sighs> Get ready. Wait, what? Oh, okay. I thought it froze there for a second. <laughs> Oh dear, uh, he can shoot maximum power bombs and throw them at you forward, sort of throw them in this circle and then drop them down from the heavens to try and, yeah, blast you like that. He is basically another kind of Bomberman, so to speak. This is a pretty awesome battle right here, I have to say. Oh jeez, I almost killed myself there, and his bombs explode awfully fast. I don't like that at all. <laughs> Is he actually aiming for me? I don't think so. Uh, oh my. Oh, he just took a hit there. Oh, jeez! Oh my god, do not stand in front of him! <laughs> That's definitely not recommended. Um, unless he's doing that, then I guess it's okay. But, wow, his bombs really explode fast. <laughs> and he also jumps over his own bomb blast? What is this? <laughs> I forgot all these attacks. This is kind of new to me. When he drops back down, I suppose I can blast him. Maybe. Eh. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, jeez. He can even shoot him to the side. Okay, do not stand in parallel... Um... 
<laughs> parallel directions towards him. I guess? <laughs> then where the heck am I supposed to go? I don't know, but he's kind of predictable, actually. So he's not all that dangerous, per se. Although he is pretty proficient at dodging bombs, which is kind of bad. <laughs> eh. Go down, go down, go down. Yes. Good. Thank you. I think when he's doing that, it's best to stay near him because the bombs move away from him, per se. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that when I drop bombs, man! <laughs> and I notice I'm kind of low on time, which is pretty scary because of the fact that I don't want to redo this boss from the start. And especially not the stages from the start. That would be terrible! Horrible! <laughs> I will not go through that again. Let's get trapped in the corner. I got him! Yes! The game is over! I could cry! Yeah, this game is definitely harder than Bomberman 2, but it's, I still think it's the most fun of the Bomberman games of this era. But it's over now, which I'm both excited and sad for. Oh, of course there's Battle Mode 2. Escape in your aircraft that we didn't see at all. <laughs> Wait, actually, did he use an aircraft to get to the comet? I wasn't paying attention, so maybe we did see that aircraft before. I could have just derped there. <laughs> And yes, it is all over. Take a bow. Oh, this is kind of funky music. <laughs> Can I control the aircraft? No, I cannot. That's kind of sad. Oh. Well, as I always say during the credits, I did not make the game. These awesome people did. I just made the walkthrough to help and entertain you. And unless I make a game myself, I will always say that. <laughs> That's just how things roll around here. Ugh, this was so much fun. A really, really good challenge here. I wouldn't put it up there as being one of the um, hardest challenges that I've done on my channel, though. That would probably go to, like, Super Mario Sunshine or uh, Super Mario Brothers The Lost Levels. Those games are ridiculous. <laughs> Wait, are we underwater now? What the heck? And if this is like a submarine slash plane, shouldn't there be like a cover over the glass, you know, to protect Bomberman from drowning? I know full well that Bomberman can't swim. <laughs> Although, he, he does have a helmet. Wait, we were just underwater and now we're flying. I don't get it. Let's not question it. <laughs> hey, more Poyo Pop Critters. And Louie! Gotta love Louie. Ah! Why is Fang Banana there? Are they gonna be showing all the bosses in this? Yes, they are, actually. <laughs> or at least that's what it seems like, because there's Bagula. Or maybe it's just those two? It'd be kind of strange just to show those two. That, that, I guess that is all they're gonna be showing. Wow. <laughs> so, that's how it ends. I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough. The war is over. And I will see you in the next part when I start the battle mode stages, just for the fun of it. Just to, you know, show them off, give tips, and, of course, as I said, just fun. It isn't all just for the fun of it, so I, I guess that first statement was kind of misleading there, but it always is fun to make these. Anyway, I'm rambling. I hope you enjoyed. 